Today we're going to be demonstrating the Osborne One, which is the first commercially successful luggable microcomputer released on April 3rd, 1981 by the Osborne Computer Corporation. It weighs 25 pounds and costs $1,795 and runs the CPM 2.2 operating system. It is powered from a wall socket and has no onboard battery. The Osborne One is about the size and weight of a sewing machine and was advertised as the only computer that would fit underneath an airline seat. The computer shipped with a large bundle of software that was almost equivalent in value to the machine itself, a practice adopted by other CPM computer vendors. Competitors quickly appeared, such as the K-Pro 2. The bundle of application software with a retail value of more than 1500 included the WordStore word processor, SuperCalc spreadsheet, and Microsoft Basic programming language. In 1981, IBM released the 16-bit IBM PC, which is significantly more powerful and expandable. Following the release of the IBM-compatible Compact Portable in 1983, the market for CPM computers shrank and Osborne was unable to compete. Osborne Computer Corporation filed for bankruptcy in September 1983. This machine has a dual 5 and a fourth inch single-sided 40-track floppy disk drives. It runs a 4 megahertz Z80 CPU. It has 64 kilobytes of memory a fold-down 69-key detachable keyboard, doubling as the computer's case lid, a 5-inch 52-character by 24-line CRT display, and a built-in 300-baud modem. There is no internal fan. A hatch on the top of the case can be opened for ventilation. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a couple of the different pieces of software that came with the machine. So the machine's already on, and the first software I'm going to boot is the CPM boot disk. And this is just going to run CPM 2.2 and provide help. So I'm going to hit enter. It's going to start up. And you'll see it says loading CPM as an Osborne Computer Corporation. And it's loading CPM and help. And you can see the screen is fairly small. Um, but the machine is a luggable machine and the keyboard folds up and I'll demonstrate that at the very end. So this would give you instructions on how to use a lot of the different programs here. So if I hit B, here's the information on how to use BASIC. And hit escape, oh, hit return, go back to the main menu. And ultimately when I want to get out of this just to run CPM, I hit escape. And here is CPM 2.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot another disk right now. And the nice thing without a hard drive is once you're done, you can just pop out a disk or reboot or do whatever you need to do. So I'm going to load Microsoft Basic. So we're going to restart. There's a reset button right there. And instantaneously it restarts. We're going to hit enter. brings up the Osborne display, loading Microsoft Basic. And it's loading this right from Floppy and Basic version 5.21 has been loaded. And at this point we can program in Basic like we've done many times before as an example. And hello list and we have our little program there and we type run it's going to print hello and we can probably save this that's the one nice thing about having a floppy hello so once we hit save hello it's now saving that program on the uh, disk and i wonder if it's directory oh spelled it wrong here rec directory nope uh, I'm trying to remember what the command is to do uh, display the directory um, for a basic. So ultimately it saved it on the disk there. 
and uh, I would figure out how to get it. And I know it's a load, so if we do load, that would load the file. So we already have it there. Okay, so let me show you another example, another program real quick. And this one I'm going to show is SuperCalc. SuperCalc was a spreadsheet program for the Osborne. And you can see all these start up um, showing what it's loading, so loading SuperCalc. And when we load SuperCalc, return to start, what we have is a spreadsheet, very similar to what we use today, uh, Excel or some other modern day spreadsheet. And here we can put in a number, so number value 10, five, and we can use the arrow keys and put in a number, and below it have it sum that number there. So, um, just like, a, like any other spreadsheet, and then you can save the numbers and move across, and it's only a 64K of memory. Um, but yet this would work really great, and it has a little help screen that it'll load to give you what you need to do to move up, move down, or do whatever you need to do. So I'm gonna exit this, I'm just gonna hit reset. I'm gonna pop out of that one, and I'm gonna show you two more. Word star, so word star, was the word processor for the Osborne machine. So in this example, we're loading WordStar, which was uh, a CPM version of this for the Osborne, and it allowed you to uh, do word processing. And we are going to hit D to create. Name a file to edit, let's call this test. New file, it sees there's no file there. And then it tells me on top, what are the things that we can do with it? Down, up, left, display, and we are in a word processor. This is a test of the Osborne. And this would be a way for you to uh, word process a document, and there is a printer port to the back of the machine, um, and there is terminal software, so you could type something up and then use the built-in 300 baud modem that's here, connected to RS-232, and you could use it to transmit your document. So the, the last one I'm going to show you right now is some games. So we're going to boot this guy up, and I'm going to show you probably the most craziest version, and it says Osborne approved software. So we'll type DIR, we'll see the different ones there, and the first one we're going to run is Ladder. And Ladder is the Donkey Kong uh, version for this machine. Now, I've played with this a little bit, so I'm only going to give you a, a quick example of it, and then we'll go from there. So if I hit P, play game, you'll see very quickly it loads up, and it, you use the arrow keys to move your character up, and space jumps, and I got killed right there, that one little spot. So it's very similar to like Donkey Kong, but it's all ASCII based um, graphics here. I got killed again. Sort of cool. So now I'm gonna escape out of this game. I'm just gonna reboot it. And I'm gonna run our equivalent to Pac-Man on this. And C-A-T-C-A-T-M. It uses the numeric keypad over there for the uh, moving around of the character. There is no mouse, 
or joystick to this. So let's do one of the things, one player. There we go. It's drawing the screen. And we will be using the trying to go as quick as I can. Oh, I got killed right in that corner there. Let me try to go again. Let me go down. It's hard playing this game using a keyboard. So this is a, a, a basic Pac-Man for the machine, obviously written when uh, Pac-Man was very popular, uh, but this is using all ASCII. So for the Osborne, it says, um, I, I'm, <laughs> I had the highest score, <laughs> simply because no one's played with this, so I'm gonna put my name down here. Even though the score was higher or horrible, it's actually writing it to the disc. And uh, it shows I have the highest score right now. So this is just a quick example of the Osborne machine. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And this is a great machine. That's a luggable machine. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show how you're going to close the machine. So I'm going to do a quick example of me closing the case of the machine. Um, and we can go from there. There's a power switch in the back, so I'm gonna pick up to this. And I'll show you how this machine would close, which is very cool. And I'm gonna take the power off in the back. And this machine lifts up. And the keyboard comes out. The keyboard stays connected. There's a cable here. And it folds in like so. Latches go up. And now the machine is closed and it becomes portable by simply unplugging the power cable, closing the vent. And now the machine is a portable computer.